good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you may be. You can't see my face. <laughs> Hang on, stand by. All right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you may be. It's like in Warlord. The Stash. Hope you're all doing well. I want to quickly go over how to set up your autonomy nodes, should you choose to do so. Not a paid promotion. I am participating in this myself because it seems interesting. A decentralized storage network of a bunch of different nodes ran by a bunch of random people. So the original person who wants to save this data. So for instance, for me, uh, I have pictures of my kids and my mother together, my, my late mother. Uh, I would like to not lose those in case my computer goes down. I could upload those to the network. I pay a one-time fee. And then that data is spread out amongst the node network. For instance, if one of the nodes that has my data shuts down for some reason, the uh, network is aware of that and it makes sure that there's another copy created somewhere else. So it's a way for redundancy, uh, decentralized. It's pretty interesting. Also, Bucks, you remember Bucks? Bucks is, is one of the ones uh, spearheading this. So we're gonna we're gonna check it out quickly. Uh, also, I got I was given a code to give you if you would like to hurry and jump in on Wave Two, which is what they're in now, to try and get into uh, earning with this. So let's begin. So you come here to autonomy.com/beta. I'm gonna put this link down below. I'm also gonna put my code down below. This is my code L W K B W M. That is the code you need. Where are you going to put that code in? Well, if you put get on the wait list, it's going to have you fill out a form that's going to ask you about terms and conditions, etc., etc. If you've got this code, you click jump the queue. You click it, it's going to pull up the same similar form. However, when you come into this form right here, you're going to say, do you have an invite code? You're going to say yes. And that is where you're going to type in this code at. And then you click OK. And then, have you joined the Discord server yet? I recommend you guys joining it. I will put a join link for that as well down below. Join that first because the next question it's going to ask is, what is your Discord account username? And from what I've been told, that is how they're going to link the rewards is that referral code with that Discord name. So I would 100% recommend, if you're interested, joining the Discord first and then coming fill out this form. And then once you type in that, you hit submit and then that's over with. So. That's how you sign up, that's how you join, and then you can use, again, code LWKBWM, which is my code. Okay, so assuming you've joined the Discord and you've now put the code in, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download the Launchpad, okay? So we download that, we're gonna do Launchpad for Windows. It says Windows 11, I'm on Windows 10. To be fair, you know, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm in it to win it, I'm already in it. Uh, also, of note, it's currently limited to 50 nodes per device. If you want to add more than 50 nodes in a single device, you would need have the hardware to do it. You're probably a power user who would benefit from using the node manager. Now, I haven't tr uh, tried that out yet, but I will end up trying it. I'm building a... The computer right now that I bought is an old refurbished Dell that's running my Townstar node and my music node uh, from Gala. I'm going to uh, significantly buff that up, and I'm going to show it to you in a second what I've got going right now and that's where I'm gonna have more so I, I, I would plan to run a, run more uh, quickly let me show you what I was told well what we're jumping steps all you need to know is start with start with this download the no, uh, node launchpad now once it downloads I would put this folder somewhere you can remember I would put it in your documents let's say I'm gonna save it to the desktop okay so I downloaded it put it on the desktop and then I extracted it right here so when I double click that you're gonna see this launch pad runs okay so this is the launch pad no nodes on this device press control G to add nodes and get started so simply press control G and then you see how it says start zero nodes zero gigabytes of 74 gigabytes available space so it's on the drive that you installed it on I installed it on my C drive my C drive only has 74 gigs of space so let's talk about requirements real quick. Okay, so uh, thanks to shout out to Neo for giving me some intel when I was asking about setting up my nodes. He says it's about 50 to 100 megabytes per node of RAM and about two gigabytes of disk space for each node. Okay, so that means you need to have a good bit of RAM and a good bit of storage space. Now, one person said in here they have a four terabyte drive and they have all their nodes running on that, no problem. 
And also, essentially, look, here you go. Uh, I run uh, Dimitar, by the way, shout out to Dimitar. I run 101 nodes on a 5400 RPM drive. Talking about an old school mechanical hard drive, an HDD. So just running on that, you don't need super fast. I am going to put super fast because worst case, there's nothing goes on with this computer. I'm going to give it to Stash Jr. But regardless... Uh, you, just, you can use a basic hard drive. What's going to be the limiting factor is your internet speed. So right now, I only have a Cat5 RAM between here and my router. I'm going to be putting Cat6 as well as putting a new router and then eventually a better switch as well because I noticed when I had all of the nodes that I set up on, my internet, my internet for me on my computer was slow because we're both fighting the same device to go through the same single line. To be honest, I'm probably going to leave the Cat5 I have ran and also put a cat six so now i've got two lines running i've got more bandwidth and that should solve that problem so yes uh basically it's going to come down to ram cpu not so much and i'll show you on mine it's it's not it's not burdening it too much so right now it's a max of 50 nodes right we said that i'm going to hit the up arrow and notice it says start two nodes start one node two nodes three nodes four nodes five nodes and as i continue to go up I ran out of space, so I can only start. I can only start 14 nodes right now. For the sake of this video, we're going to do two nodes. Okay. Next thing I do is hit enter. Starting nodes. Please wait. Performing initial uh, setup here. Okay. It's going to start, and we'll fast forward when it's done. All right. While we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and show you what uh, I'm logged in remotely to the node computer that I have. So you see my CPU is in the 5060 range and I've got 88% memory. You come here and look, this is what my node looks like. You can see I have these stopped because of my network issues, but then I have all of these running. The other thing you need to do is control B. Control B will allow you to put in, uh, if you notice up here, it says Discord username like in Warlord. So again, the Discord username is how it's gonna link that referral code that we gave you and you'll be good to go. But this is it, it just sits there running. And you can see it's using some resources. See these all the safe nodes right here. And you can see them all in my task manager. So that's basically it. This is the same computer I have running the Townstar and the uh, music node. So once I get a better CPU, I'm gonna triple the RAM, better hard drive. Uh, I should be able to max it out at 50. If not, I might even go and get this other version, the uh, node manager and, and see how that looks. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is it. You set it up, bada bing, bada boom. So let's go back to our regular scheduled programming over here. So it's still starting the nodes. Uh, basically, you saw what it looked like without it being with it being on already. That's literally it. That's all you got to do to set it up. So to oh, here we go. Okay. So here you go. You can see uh, storage allocated 10 gigabytes. Nano's earned. We're gonna hit Control B and hit Y and then I'm going to type in my Discord username which you will obviously type in your name instead and now it's going to reset the nodes and it's going to put them nodes on my Discord username which is how it's going to link that referral code. Once again the referral code is LWKBWM. If you guys want to do this go for it. Uh, as of right now the coin, let's, let's, let's pull up the coin real quick. It is uh, made safe coin coin market Cap. Let's see. There you go. All right. So this is the coin that that they're currently they currently have. Did I not move over? Okay. So you can see, it's uh, been been a lot of movement. Peaked up at over a dollar for a little bit. But yeah, this is the coin. I'll put that link down below as well. Once again, the referral code LWKBWM. If you want to get in on the beta right now, the wave two test. If you got any questions, you can leave them down below. You can also join their Discord. I recommend it. They have some very nice and informative people in there. You can also tell Bucks, said hello, and tell her I sent you. Uh, you also have my Discord if you'd like to join. We've got links down below if you want to support the channel. I'm going to have links for all this information we just went over down below. I appreciate y'all being here. I love you. hope you have a great rest of your day. We're going to be streaming Elden Ring and finishing Diablo 4. When we get to level 100. I'm so close. Doing that tonight, baby. So, like and Warlord, the stash. I love you all. Take care. Bye-bye. I think Lycan is the best person I've ever seen. Like, like...
I've never seen anyone so amazing. Um, you know, I, I, and I've mentioned this before. Lycan's a fantastic person. Really, really, really cool. Ooh, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I want to shout out my Patreons. Patreons from Patreon. And my new YouTube members as well. I got that going. Appreciate all of you. Thank you so very much. Your help has been crucial to keeping me alive and keep streaming and keep helping and hopefully entertaining you along the way. Anything I can do to make it more worth your while, please let me know down below. Also, you can find me on my Discord. I have my Discord server link down below. Patreon link's down below. And then membership should be somewhere around here. Thank you all so very, very much. I really appreciate you. And I look forward to the future. And I hope you will come along for this journey with me. Thank you. Take care.